The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the OASIS, the world's fastest inspection system. We'll start by going through the tools menu on the top of the OASIS window, and we'll start with the vertical edge tool. The way to activate our tools is to click on it with the mouse. The cursor then changes and says new. Holding the left mouse button down and dragging, I'll create a vertical edge on the flange of this part. A blue line shows where the edge is being detected. I'll create a second vertical edge on the other side of the flange. Now I'm able to use my distance tool. The distance tool is how we create our measurements in the OASIS. You see next to the cursor, it's looking for the first edge. It doesn't matter what order I do it in. Create my first vertical edge, my second vertical edge, and instantly I have my dimension at that location. I can do the same thing using the horizontal edge tool. And again, just by clicking my left mouse button, holding it down, it'll detect the horizontal edge. I'll create a second horizontal edge. And again, I can use my distance tool to create a measurement from the top of the part to the bottom of the part. Our angled edge tool works the same way, only the Oasis now is looking for angled edges on the part. So again, by holding down the left mouse button and dragging, I create my first angled edge. And on this side of the part, I'll create another angled edge. And instead of using our distance tool this time, we'll work with the angled edge tool and I'll click on my first angle, my second angle, and it gives me my dimension. In this case, the dimension the Oasis is giving us is how the angles relate to one another. We can also find how the angle relates to a vertical or horizontal edge. Now I'll clear the windows so that we have more room to see what I'm doing, but we have other tools that can create the same functions. For example, the height tool will actually perform the same function that two vertical edges will do. Once it gets gray pixels on either side of a feature on a part, you'll get a measurement instantly. And now in the Y axis, I can do the same with our diameter tool. Once the Oasis finds gray pixels on the top and bottom of the part, it will give you an edge or diameter instantly. Now I'll use the corner tool because, for example, on the top of this part, we need to get a dimension on the flat feature here. Our vertical edge tool would not work and our horizontal edge tool won't work. But by using the corner tool, as soon as the Oasis finds the intersection of the top of the part and the radius, it creates a little blue tick mark. And that's a location we can now measure to. By identifying two corners, I can now use my distance tool to go from one corner to the next, and again, get an instant dimension. Our circle tool will find radius and diameters on parts just by dragging and the oasis will identify the size of the circle. You can pull that out of the way and by right clicking now I can change that radius to a diameter if our part print calls for a diameter as opposed to a radius. In version 3.4 of Oasis we now have a point tool and the point tool will allow you to create a point anywhere on a part and measure to that exact location. I can move the, part, the point around on any edge of the part and we can then create a distance to that location. 